Hello, welcome. I want to talk about the Haas effect. What is the Haas effect? How can you use it in your production? What are the things to be aware of when using the Haas effect? Helmut Haas was a German scientist and he did a bunch of experiments on how we perceive sound and how we locate sounds. He discovered that if a sound is hitting the, the one ear first and then the other, we locate it, <laughs> basically. It's, it's quite simple, really. If there's a delay in the same sound, in a mono sound, uh, we perceive it as coming from one side or the other. Like... All right, did you have your headphones on? Great. If one signal on one side is delayed by one millisecond to f around 40 milliseconds or 35, um, we perceive it as coming from one side or the other. But if it reaches over 40 milliseconds, it will become two sounds. That's where the echo threshold for our hearing. If it's over 45 milliseconds, we perceive it as two different sounds. That's the basic idea. Panning is just volume difference. But Haas effect is using time. The problem with this is that when you sum it to mono, depending on how much Haas effect you have, there will be a phasing issue called the comb filtering effect. The more drastic time latency you have, the more drastic the, the comb filtering will be. Like if it's really tight, you will only hear it in the high end. But as you increase the time, the, the comb filtering will travel down through the spectrum. And if it's quite a lot, you will hear it like a flam, like a drummer hitting the snare with two hands, like bam. But if it's only one sound, like panning, it would just be like bam, just one single stroke. Geeky information there, but it's good to know. If you overdo it, you go like, oh, it sounds all facey and stuff. Me and my girlfriend, we both love Billie Eilish. Our daughters love it, uh, Billie Eilish as well, and her track very a friend. The arrangement and composition is quite simple. But what makes it different or interesting is that it has the house effect. So let's check it out and see what it looks like and sounds like. All right. Billy. You know it probably. If you don't, I will link it here or below. First, we have a simple kick. Simple kick, yeah. Interesting things are happening after. This is like a pitch kick or a filtered kick. It has a Haas effect. This is the left one, this is the right side. And the right side hits the ear first. So we perceive it as coming from the right, which makes it a lot more interesting. And here we have a like a wooden knock thing, along with the kick they flipped the timing. So if we zoom in, so this one hits the left ear first, and this becomes like a, well, interesting to listen to, because the beat is quite simple, really. It, it's just, this one adds the swing feel, the triplet feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I made some nerdy things as well. I, I took out the, the mid channel, so it sounds like this. Where did the bass go? Oh, and I also isolated, I think it was that this thing. Duplicated that, that to the track below, face inverted it. The swing th element. It's also cancelled out if I enable this track. If we just listen to, to the this. It's just like the swing feel. But if we enable this sides channel, uh, they cancel out. So it sounds like this. Cool. And I also went on to, to cancel the wood thing out as well. But it's quite interesting to hear what the track sounds like with just the sides. Yeah. 
away, I'm drinking you down Like I wanna jump, like I wanna hand me <sighs> I think it's interesting anyway. Geeky stuff. So, how do you use the Haas effect? Well, there are uh, quite a few free plugins. I'll link to some below if you want to check it out. So, I made a, a pretty simple beat, the same structure as the Billie Eilish song. So, here's without the Haas effect. Everything is in the middle. But as soon as we enable the Haas effect, it sounds like this. I'm just doing a crappy mock-up of the Billy Irish song, so don't judge that, but judge the, the width uh, sound of the, when you add this, especially on these two. If I take them out, it sounds like this. Dead center. I'm using a free plugin, by the way. So these are the plugins that I use. Uh, the plugin is called Quick Haas. And I put one on each channel. Counter delay so that one side is roughly 10 milliseconds on the right and the other is roughly 10 milliseconds to the left. It's a cheap trick to, <laughs> it's a free trick basically, to add width or to have a more interesting sound. So I hope that helps. If you liked it, hit the like button and if you want to see more videos on mixing and sound design and mastering and do-it-yourself projects, hit that subscribe button. Have fun. Peace. Ugh.